Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Tuesday, April 23rd, 2013. Well, a continuation of the trend to the upside today and the candle has made a higher high and a higher low. A very large white body candle and a nice extension of the size of the body for today's trading suggested that the buyers have found some very solid upside momentum when compared to the previous day's trading. This market today has closed with the buyers in control and very strongly in control by closing up towards the high and the buyers have shown very strong commitment throughout the whole of the trading day. The previous day's trading suggested that this was a possibility. We were a little bit worried about the uh, reduction in the size of the body. It did indicate some lack of momentum by the buyers but with the market closing up towards the high again it did suggest that the buyers had maintained control and if the market uh, was able to trade through the Tenkinsen and the Kijinsen here, the green line and the pink line, in a bullish manner there was a very strong possibility of higher price levels and that's exactly what we've seen today. For today's trading we've had a very solid bullish close up above the, the important 57, 1576 level of resistance and this bullish close up above here does suggest that this market is uh, finding some solid momentum for an attempt on the all time highs up around the 1600 round level number. Now 1600 will be very strong resistance and we do need to bear that in mind but uh, we do need to watch the high of the current candle for a potential continuation of the trend and if we do see that over the next few days we are likely to test up to that round number level of resistance. Uh, to the downside if the market does come off obviously we have very very strong support down around 1555 it has been an important level in the recent past and then down below there the area around the swing lows around 1540 and just below there now we have the uh, cloud trading so very very solid support down below but the story today here is all about the buyers being in uh, strong control of this market in terms of the short term dynamics on the trading day between the open and the close very solid net bullish progress by the buyers suggesting that they found that momentum that they had a couple of uh, trading days ago. In terms of the uh, Fibonacci extension we're examining the relationship of the first time frame uptrend to the previous time the market was trending up and here today we've seen a bullish close up above the 61.8% level. A very strong trading up above there. The next level that the market will interact with is the 78.6 at 1581. Uh, no suggestion that that level will hold. If we see strong bullish activity up above there then we do need to watch the 100% level at 1593 which coincides roughly with this zone around the 1600 round number level of resistance. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement, uh, bullish close up above the 61.8% level. Uh, does suggest the market is destined for higher levels. 78.6% level will come into play. 1584, it's a minor level. Do need to watch the market how it reacts to that level. But a test up to the 1597 level would not surprise over the next couple of days. In terms of Ichimoku, obviously a bullish market in uh, all three time frames. The market is trading up above the cloud here, so we have a bullish bias in the long term time frame. And in the recent past, we saw price action attracted back towards that uh, uh, cloud, and the cloud represents equilibrium in that long term time frame. And markets move between disequilibrium, which are these trending states when we're trending away from the cloud and then the markets move back to equilibrium and then generally find support and bounce off those levels. So that's exactly what we've seen over the previous uh, last week or two and we are now seeing the buyers come back into this market. Uh, here the market was certainly looking overextended up around the 1600 level. It was trading a long way back above the cloud and uh, and then attempted to find equilibrium and found it around the 1540 level and now trading off there in a very bullish manner. In terms of the medium and fast term time frame, the market is trading above the uh, Kijunsen, the pink line, and the Tenkinsen, the green line. So we now have a bullish market in the medium and fast term time frames, and the checkout span is above the corresponding price action, so confirming the bullishness that we're seeing in all three time frames. This breakout up above the Kijunsen, the pink line, is a buy signal in terms of Ichimoku, a very strong buy signal because it's occurred above the cloud, and we have a uh, strong. Uh, 
uh, probability of the market uh, following through with this move because of the strong uh, bullish candle on that breakout. So this does certainly suggest that this market will have the potential to test up to the 1600 round, round number level of resistance. Now what the market does beyond that is uh, not certainly definable at the moment but what we do need to do is watch how this market reacts if we do trade up around that level if we see uh, more indecisive trading coming in as we saw in the recent past then we could see the market test back down to lower levels but certainly uh, we are seeing quite some volatility in this market over the previous few weeks uh, very strong black body candles followed by the buyers coming in back into this market very strongly that does raise some doubt in big picture terms of our continuation of this trend we tend to see very volatile trading around tops so let's watch that but at the moment here the story is all about the buyers being in control in all three time frames and in terms of supply and demand in that short term time frame the short term dynamics and a test up to higher levels and perhaps up to 1600 is certainly a very real possibility